Don't dump your coral in the ocean. That's a message from the Navy after several species of invasive coral were found in waters around Pearl Harbor. Officials say it likely came from home aquariums. Bryce Moore reports. The Navy says they first noticed an invasive coral species in Pearl Harbor in 2020. It covered around 10 acres and not much was known about it then, but a Venezuelan study this year revealed it could easily overtake native species. So when we went back into the water to scope it out, to remove it, that's when we discovered it was much larger. It had grown over time. We're still looking, surveying it, but give or take about 100 acres is where we're at now. A second invasive but less prolific species was also discovered, one of the reasons why officials believe they came from a home aquarium. Number two, the location where this is at, it's very accessible. There's a pier there right off the dock, and both of those species are prohibitive uh, in the state of Hawaii, and they're known to be in aquariums in Hawaii. Now, the Waikiki Aquarium says owning any type of coral, whether it's invasive or native to Hawaii, is actually illegal inside of personal aquariums. But not to worry if you do have them. You can drop them off right here, no questions asked. Okay, first thing is don't panic. The police won't come knocking at your door. We're the only facility on island that's allowed to keep uh, non-native corals, as you can see in this exhibit here. Uh, we'll give you complete amnesty, you're completely anonymous, and your coral will be taken very good care of. The Navy is currently working out a multi-million dollar contract to eradicate the invasive species, telling me the project could take up to a year or more. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.